Um, I don't know if I want to go to the future. What happened to you? The future's He's all like robotic now. The future's not looking so good, is oh, it? Oh, but look, he has a cool eye patch. Yeah, he's like a cyborg. What at this happened point. to his head? Oh, oh god! Oh my god! You added mobs from the future. Oh, no! Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many of them. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Pat, and welcome back to another mod showcase. Hey, guys. So today we are traveling through time. This is the time travel mod, Jen. That sounds completely epic. I've actually been waiting for a time travel mod forever. So with this mod, there is a bunch of different dimensions that are all different periods of time that we can travel to. Okay. All right, so check it out. It's actually really, really, really dangerous. So we are going to need this gear to be able to survive. All right. So we have a diamond set. We've got 10 enchanted golden apples. Use those very wisely. Is there a time machine we go into? All right, check it out. So time machine right here. It's like written on the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, didn't, I didn't read it yet. All right, so over here, to make a time machine, what you need is four obsidian and enchantment table. This is actually really cool, so follow me, Jen. All right, let's go. Right, we are never coming back here ever again. So this block, I believe, will turn into a time machine. Okay. All right, so you right-click it and boom. Whoa, why is there so much water? That, that's what I was is wondering. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> I think so. Okay. They all do that. <laughs> all right, so ignore that. We need to light that up to actually travel to the other dimensions. All right, let's do it. So to be able to actually get the like the portal lighter, there are some mobs that now are going to spawn your world. There's actually tons of new mobs in this mod. Oh, was I supposed to follow you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where the important stuff is happening, Jack. Right, I'm here. I actually set up a bunch of time machines over there. We're going to go in all of those, and we're going to travel to a bunch of different dimensions. Okay. All right, so we're going to test every single mob, guys. We have the sloth, which is from our time period, Professor Fjordbride. We've got the generic villager. These are all the ones that spawn in the normal world. Oh, the nether creeper and the time guard. The time guard is really important. I don't know how seeds got in here. Oh, that's for me. It was it? I was wondering. <laughs> I thought it might have been because I didn't think I saw them before. Um, we have the villager from 2030 invading us, so he's coming back from the future. Oh, awesome. All right, so we've got the time guard. So let's start with something simple. We've got the, the sloth. sloth. Oh my god. I feel bad. I don't want to kill him. He's so cute. We, we have to. Wait, let me get a good look no, he's, he's, at oh, him. Here, here. Okay. Here. All right, let me see him. Do you is like he him? wearing a tie? Wait, he is. He is. He, that's really awesome. I love you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, he just dropped his shirt. He did? <gasps> yes, he did. Here. I got two of them. So this is the sloth chest. This is useless, but could oh, I can't put it on. It be used in the future. All right, so apparently at some point we could actually use this sloth chest. Oh, nice. All right, so the sloth really not the most exciting mob, but there's tons of cool mobs in this. All right, what do we what do we fight next? All right, this is the generic villager. Uh, okay, all so right, let me see him. He wears green. Uh, let me see him first. All right, he looks normal. Oh my God, he attacks! Oh! I was trying to try the trade with him. <laughs> so this is like a witch, basically. Yes. I just right clicked him, then a potion got oh, thrown in my it face. Oh, hurts. All right, that is the villager. Oh, okay. Nether Creeper. This might blow up, so. Oh, all right. All right, good luck. Let's all see what it does. I want to kill. Oh my um, God! It doesn't ah! die when it blows oh up. Oh my God! <laughs> kill it. <laughs> all right, what did it drop? What is that? Oh, it dropped some chorus fruit, which from the new Minecraft updates. Because we're actually playing in, I think, 1.10 right now. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see. We've got. I'm saving that one. I believe this is really important, the time guard. All right. Oh my god, look at him. <gasps> wow. All right, I, I love he you. He looks cool. Right. Let's kill him. Wait, I was going to check to make sure he didn't have any trades. Oh, just, oh, okay. Fine, he doesn't look like he does. All right, now kill him. Oh, he dropped emeralds. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's a cool way to actually get some emeralds. Yes. All right, I'm going to try putting him down again. Don't attack him. Okay. Just making sure he doesn't have anything. You look so sick, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you keep that's me. because in 1.10, you know, it hits both people. You keep standing near all the mobs. All right, so next up, this is what we got, guys. We have the villager that it came back from the future, from 2030. Um, oh, I don't know if I want to go to the future. What happened to you? The future's He's all, like, robotic now. The future's not looking so good, is oh, it? Oh, but look, he has a cool eye patch. Yeah, he's like a cyborg What at this happened point. to his head? Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. He landed mobs from the future. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many of them! Oh, there's no stopping it! What do we do? There's no stopping it! Oh, oh, oh my god, peaceful, my god. peaceful, peaceful! It's like a million! Okay, so this is what happens. Oh. He drops this block that spawns in hundreds and hundreds of mobs if he spawns in. Oh, 
no. So what you're going to need is a pickaxe to save your world. They even put TNT and spider webs down. They almost took over the entire world. All right, dudes, we have pickaxes now, and Jen is cleaning up the world oh so nicely. Doesn't it look so good now? Seriously, this spawns in mobs so quick, I don't know how you would be able to stop this. I know, it's insane. Wait, I think I have an idea that actually might work if this happens to you in your world, guys. Get rid of it. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay. So you need this block to get destroyed. Oh my god, it's so slow, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. So they do put down TNT. If you get flint and steel, you might be able to ignite it and blow it up. Oh, that would be cool. That is probably the only way to get rid of that. But we have one more mob, but it's probably the worst one, Jen. Oh, no. To the arena for it. Okay. Professor Herobrine. Oh, great. Are, are you ready? I don't think we're prepared for this. You are not prepared. I'm going to throw an insect in his fa face. Uh, that was that just, didn't work That was all. embarrassing, and he just <laughs> put his back to you. Wait, he looks just simple in this, I'm gonna this world. I'm going to kill him. Whoa. Oh, wait. He, he dropped what we need. He dropped it. Drop Here. it. I mean, trap. Tr 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 <laughs> give it to me. There you go. All right, so this is Professor Keobright's unfinished time machine part. So in the present day, he is not powerful. But once we go to the future, he's going to be stronger than you can imagine. All right. You really threw this at him and he walked away. I really away. did. And then he walked away. And just, he didn't even look. <laughs> it was kind of sad, actually. All right, so guys, over here, this is what we need. To light this one up. Oh, I like portal. this gold path you put down. Oh, yeah, you like that? That's nice. Try to make it nice. So this is the year 2030 activator. To make it, we need the part we just got. So you have to kill him, which is really simple because he doesn't fight back. You need two redstone dust and two ender pearls. And then you light it up and jump in. All right, let's do this. To 2030 we go. Is it just me or does it look like a poop? I'm stuck. It's the poop portal. I spawned under the ground slightly. Oh. Did you... Um, I'm not here yet. I'm suffocating. No! I'm trying to save us. Oh, okay. You know, it's so weird because when I tested this out when I was single player, it spawned in just fine. So what you're saying is my fault. I'm saying that you broke the dimension <laughs> and you should be ashamed of yourself. All right, dudes, before you enter a portal, I would recommend having a shovel because we ended out like 10 blocks lower than we should have been because the portal is actually right over here. It looks beautiful. I like the color of the sky. Yeah, this is actually a really nice looking dimension. It's like forest. There's mountains. There's water. It just Gorgeous. Seems like, it looks like a happy place, but you saw the mob that came from it, Jen. Which one was it? The sloth? No, the sloth was from our time. Oh, oh no, yeah. No, it was the robotic dude. Oh, oh, yeah. They, like, spawned in millions and millions of mobs. Yes. All right, so these are the new mobs that are in this time. Oh, we got cheese. Yes, that is our new food. Oh, yes. All right, so this is what we have. And there's new weapons, so if you want, like, a zombie sword or a Weber, you I'll can grab that. I'll have a Weber. That sounds cool. The zombie sword actually does 11 attack damage. All right, so this is what we have, and that's a time invasion block, guys. That actually can be crafted. Um, to make that, you need cheese, you need a zombie tier, a zombie skeleton core, and a spider core. This all can be found in this dimension from killing the mobs. All right. All right, so I'm going to get all the mobs we have. I put all my garbage in there. Oh, you did? Just so you know. You, you always do this, don't you? <laughs> we have the skeleton zombie. We've got the annoying zombie. We've got the robot creeper. Oh, look at my weapon's like invisible. Robot sp Rogue Spider, you're really confusing me. I'm sorry, but I'm, look at this. It, it's like beautiful. It's so cool. All right, so yeah, we've got the Rogue Spider. We've got the Creeper Slime. We've got the Robot Creeper. We've got the Mouse, which actually spawns in this dimension. That is how you get cheese, Jad. Oh, wait, let's spawn it in. The Mouse Right first. now, yes. All right, I feel bad, though. You We're sure? We're not going to kill him. Okay. Right? No. We, no. we kind of need to, though, for the cheese. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Can I bring him back home? I just, I want some cheese. <laughs> oh, he dropped cheese. Oh, that is adorable. So that is one of the more calm mobs that you can fight. You can kind of just kill it and get cheese, which is cool though. Um. What did you do? Oh, nothing. You threw all the meat in the web? No, I think, wasn't this chest bigger? Oh, you turned it into a web. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the next <laughs> mob. This is the Skeletron Zombie. So apparently that's what my sword does. So yeah, it puts it down webs. It turns things into webs. All right, so this dude, pretty easy. Combination of zombie and skeleton. Look at this, is so awesome. Turning the dirt into webs right now. You also put down like a weird chest on the ground. <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing with that thing. I don't know, but I love it. So that, the cool thing is, maybe you should give it to me, actually. No, this yeah. is mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a mob. You try to capture it in a web. Okay. This is an annoying zombie. It's going to be really annoying. I right, do it. There he is. You totally got this. Oh, here we go, here we Wait, go. Wait, he's got a bow on him? Ah! But you can't even yes! do this. Yes, he's in it. Get him. We're both in it. All right, we got him. Yes. He dropped some arrows. <laughs> and it seems like you're randomly turning something into a glitched out chest. I know. 
So that's a little bit buggy, that weapon, but the weapon I have works perfectly fine. <laughs> Jen just happens does to break everything. Does your weapon do anything weird? No, it just does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. This is a robot creeper. All right, let's fight it. Oh no! Oh my goodness! He spawns in creepers too. Oh, okay. All right, I'll break the. T I'll break it. We need to kill him. Oh, ah! the TNT! Oh god, we're gonna die here, aren't we? That was a big explosion. All right, we need to take them down now. All right, I'm oh. trying to. I got the TNT just in time. Kill him! Almost got him. Yes! Oh! oh. All right, Jen, the next one we're checking out is the rogue spider. All right, let's see it. So I'm pretty sure we actually saw all of these when they had that, like, time invasion, but so many came out, we couldn't even fight them. I it know, like, it was insanity. There's like a thousand. Here we go. Oh, it's so cool looking. All right, I'm, oh, you don't do any damage with that, do you? It looks like he's wearing purple and black socks. Oh, my God, it really Doesn't does. not it? It looks cool. Whoa. Oh, a jet. Oh. <gasps> oh, by the way. I'm sorry. But, no, don't worry. It's not your fault. Oh. That's actually, there's a bug in the mod where he drops a chest, but it doesn't work quite yet. See? Oh, okay. I thought I broke it. I was about to give you this weapon. You probably should give that to me, actually. I'm going to give it to you. Here you go. Thank you so much. I'm just going to use my diamond sword. All right. Probably a better idea because <laughs> look what you did to like everything around here. All right. So next up, we are checking out, all right. We already checked out the robot tree for the last one. Is the creeper slime. I imagine it's going to be like a big old slime with a creeper face. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I need bigger. It really has yes, the face. We need a huge one. I don't want hole. it too many though. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. I'm going to die. <laughs> They're multiplying. Wait, they are? Yeah, they are. Oh, how are you doing? I'm okay. Where are you at anyways? I had um, a little, little accident. Where are you? I died. Oh, I see them. I'm coming to help you right okay. now. There's so many. Oh, so they oh, spawn a in big slimes. One. Oh, but it's just normal. Yeah, they spawn in normal slimes. Yeah. So this is actually pretty dangerous. So I probably shouldn't have spawned in yeah, as many as I did. There's a few too many. Right, but they look so cool. I'm surprised they don't blow up or something. I know. All right, we got these dudes, and they're all down. All right. All right, we have one more thing to check out. I showed you guys the recipe for the invasion. Who is shooting at me right now? Oh my god, it's oh. so dangerous. Oh, there's mobs spawning in. Oh, run, Quickly, run, run this way. Life. This way. So we have this. I showed the recipe for the invasion block. I don't think that this does much at this point, but I'm gonna show you guys. I put it down. It causes an explosion. Oh, no. And I don't know if mobs are going to start coming out of it, but right now... Just, There's a lot of mobs around. Right now, we should probably actually get going. Yeah, I think so. That's looks, a good idea. Looks like a work in progress. <laughs> going to head out of here as soon as possible. Look how cool that zombie looks. All right, we have to go, Chad. All right, let's leave. Into the portal. Yes. And... Oh. oh okay. Everything's fine. Ooh. We made it through the first dimension, and then we fell down from the sky. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that was the first one. The second one, we need to craft the year 2037 activator. So this is seven years further in the future than we just were. Oh, this cheese is not that good. What do you expect? The mouse is so tiny. <laughs> so to make this one, we need a magical crystal key. So this comes from something in that dimension that we just fought. All right. So then we can make this, and we can go to this one. Perfect. Did you just put all your garbage in here? No. I'm, I'm doing it too. Oh, okay. We have so much. <laughs> So, once we activate this, we enter this poop portal as yes. well. Yes! Alright, so let's jump in. It's so dangerous to even, like, get to this. I know. Okay. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's Brand new do dimension. It. Oh, this is creepy. Oh! Oh my god, the sky is red and the ground is poop looking. It's dirt, okay? <laughs> So apparently, I'm not liking this one as much. Apparently, seven years in the future, it was like the apocalypse. Yes. Like, things went really downhill Actually, at this point. Actually, it kind of looks like chocolate. Do you think we could eat it? Okay, don't call it poop and then call it chocolate <laughs> and then ask to eat it. Well, I mean, they look similar. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. All right, let's see. Over here, so there's new armor and... Oh, it's gorgeous. Evolved zombie pigman. All right, well, that's nice. We get beautiful new armor. All right, so let's put this on. I think this is better than diamond. Okay. All right, so there's only one new mob. Zombie pigmen are no more, Jen. They've evolved in the future. Look at how cool we look. Pigmen have evolved. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. This is the new pigman. There he is. He looks the same, though. No, he's clearly different. Because are you sure? You want me to tell you the huge difference? Yeah, tell me. It says evolved before it says pig zombie pigmen. Oh. Oh, you see that? Wow. Yeah, you see that? Wow. Huge difference, obviously. <laughs> All right, so let's attack these dudes. I don't want to. They're nice. Wait, they don't fight back in this one. No, they don't. So they've changed. They're not evil anymore. Wait, what do they drop? All right, they are dropping 
Oh, they're dropping pink rubies. This is for the next dimension. Oh, okay. So Wait, basically, is this, is, this, uh, <laughs> what? is this what you use to make the armor? Um, let's see. The armor for this. Yes, it's out of pink rubies, and I believe it's also the thing for the next dimension. All right. So basically, this dimension, it's horrible, guys. There is lava everywhere. The only thing that spawns is zombie pigmen that have evolved and just got stupider. <laughs> They've gotten stupider over time. Those poor pigmen. So this is the only reason to come here is to kill those so that you can make this amazing armor and head to the next dimension. All right, let's do it. I feel, oh God. Um, you're, jump. What's happening? Jump, ah! jump, you've got this. Oh my God, no, I don't, I'm gonna die. No, oh, um, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, rest in pieces. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. All right, so next up, let's see if I was right about this. So the next one, oh my God, we're heading to the year 205,582. Oh, wow. So okay. for this one, I was right, pink rubies around this, so pretty simple, really easy to do it, because you just go there, kill the pigmen, and you can go to the next dimension, no problem. All right, let's hop in! This is way in the future, Jan. All right, I can't wait to see how it looks. Oh, we're falling into the water. Oh! All right, we're here. Okay. It's the Ice Age. Oh. Everything is frozen over at this point. Except the water. Yeah, there's a little bit of water, which is nice, oh so we can drink. God, look at how beautiful it looks, though. I don't think I'd want to live here, though, it you know? It looks so beautiful! There's some ore. I'm just trying to get to land right now. And I swear, ever since Jen entered this, it doesn't take me through the portals. It just <laughs> drops me near them. <laughs> I don't know where the portal is now, Jen. It's probably <laughs> up there. Jen just asked me, when I wasn't recording, if the sloth is a part of the newer version of Minecraft and not from this pot. <laughs> Did you see the dude? Did you see his face? There's something <laughs> He looked like he was from normal Minecraft. Why is that a weird question? He was cool. He was cool. Oh, he you're right. should be. He should be. You're right. I'm, I'm wrong. Minecraft. <laughs> hashtag add the sloth to Minecraft. All right? All right. So over here, we've got this. And actually, no, this was the thing that was for the 2037 portal. So we can get that from, I think, this ore. So grab a pick, Ash, Dad. All right. All right. So check it out. We break this, and yes, we get tons and tons of magical crystal keys. Oh, so is that all we can really get here? All right, no, there's actually a bunch of stuff here. Oh, okay. So the sloth, which you were talking about, <laughs> he's evolved. Ooh! All right, so we're like really high in the air. We actually fell like right next to this and ended up in the water down there. All right, spawn him in. All right, so are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, I'm going to have a golden apple do you before think I do he's this. actually going to look different? I think he's going to be pretty awesome. All right, let's see. Oh my god! Oh my god, so cool! Oh my god, I'm a fan! Should we kill him? Should we hit him and see what happens? Okay, let's do it. Oh man. Oh, is he hurting you? I want to see what he drops. I really hope he drops the shades. Me too. I want the whole ensemble. Oh, okay. Oh my god. This work. Oh, oh, they have to fix that. That is going to be so epic when you can go into these chests and grab oh, the stuff. Oh, but I got this. Oh, and I got um iron ingots. Nice. What did you get? Right here. What, what, An activator. Oh, so that's all we needed. Okay, cool. So this is going to bring us to the last dimension. Yes. So, I mean, it works. It just isn't in the chest. Like, we got his drops. We got the five iron ingots. And we got the year primal ages activator. It just wasn't in the chest. It was, like, on the ground next to it. <laughs> So in this dimension, that's all there is to do. So you can grab this ore and you can fight the evolved sloth boss. But we are heading out, aren't we? Yes, we are to the last dimension. All right, I'm coming back. Let's see if we land in a normal spot. Oh, um, oh good enough. Oh, uh, not too bad. I mean, it could have been worse, yes, right? Yes, it could have been. All right, so I'm pretty sure that we went to that one, then we went to this one, then this one, and then all this. Right, this is the final one. So this drops off the sloth boss, which we already saw because we actually just fought him and got the drop. Yes, we did. So that's all we need. We don't need to craft anything. Just use this right off the bat and we can enter the dimension. Okay. Are you ready for this? Let's do it! So this is bring us back to the past. Oh, all right. All right, here we are. Wow, it's very green. Back in year one. I like it. Some of the boss um, ones are stuck on top of the screen. That means there must be bosses right next to us. Oh, my God. I see a dude floating. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's do this quick. There's mobs and bosses, and there's also battle towers I saw here. Oh. All right, so quickly, there is a new bow called the Primal Skeleton Bow, which I am going to grab because it's oh amazing. Oh, my God. There's levitation leggings. I need those. Oh, grab those. All right, so put those on. We have new leggings that we can wear. I'm levitating right now. How do you stop can it? Can we control it? I don't think we can control um, it. <laughs> Make it stop! Okay, I have to take them off. Oh, yeah, I'm taking them off too. So we have the primal zombie skeleton to fight. We've got the floating primal ZS, I assume that means zombie skeleton. 
We've got the newspaper zombie boss one, the newspaper zombie boss two, and the newspaper zombie boss three. That is a really weird name, but we'll fight them and we'll see what happens. All right, let's do it. Before more bosses spawn yes. all over my screen. Yes. All right, this is the primal zombie skeleton. Okay. All right, let me get a good look. All right, he doesn't look too bad. Kill him. Do you like my bow? Um, it's like really yes, insane. I love the bow. I can't control it. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like the most insane bow ever. so sick. All right. Oh, he's shooting at us. Kill him. All right. Do it. Die. Wait, he's spawning in zombies. He has a lot of health. Oh, God. He keeps spawning in more. Oh, my God. No. Quickly. Ah, it's never ending. No. No. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is horrible. Uh-oh. Through the portal. We There's have to escape. Many. There's too many. We're out of here. Okay. Oh. I think we're safe now. Okay. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Not again. No. Don't do this. Oh, hi. Oh. Where am I? I think we're okay. Oh, what happened? I bre I'm breaking the ground so we get out. Oh, good job. All right, let me just get through this. And Ooh. everything is fine now. Okay. So that dude is insane because he keeps spawning in more of the exact same thing over and over again. All right, let's go over here where it's safe and let's try out the other one. Yes, let's do that. Wait. Oh, sorry. That was me that did that. Oh. Oh, you're making me nervous. This this thing is crazy. You cannot control that thing. If you have arrows, it uses your whole stack in like Maybe two seconds. Maybe you should use a different weapon. Uh, I'm going to. Okay. This is the fro floating. I must have floating. <laughs> Frodo. Frodo's primal zombie skeleton. Here we go. All right. Let's kill it quickly. Before it gets too high. Yes. Die. Get him. Get him on. Ah. <laughs> no. Put on the leg. Oh, he burnt. Oh. Oh. Yes. All right. So he's dead. We what got the dude. drop? Um, I don't know if he actually dropped anything. Okay. So he's down, but the only thing we have left are bosses, Chad. All right. All right, so this one is the newspaper zombie boss one. Get a golden apple ready or you will die. All right, I'm worried. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, so I have this weapon. I want to use the zombie sword against him. Or possibly her. Who really knows? <laughs> there it is. They look so weird. Whoa. Oh, it made it nighttime. Look, he's moonwalking. Oh, my God, he is. All right, kill him. And he just spawned in an island. Wow. That's impressive. That is amazing. Wait, he turns into the newspaper Zombie Boss 2. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, I bet you he turns into Zombie Boss 3 next. Look at his cool pants. I want them. Oh, here he is. This is his third form. Okay. He's floating. Oh. Don't allow no. it. We might, I'm um, putting on the legs. Put on the legs. Putting on the legs. We're floating. Wait. I'm already levitating. Oh, you are? Yeah. All right, we've got this. This is the weirdest boss fight ever. <laughs> All right, let me put the legs out. Oh, it's that mob down there that made you levitate. Oh, okay. I'm trying to raise up to his level. Where is he? He's so high up now. He's racing too quickly. Oh, no. All right, dudes, I've got arrows, but we're going to fight it right from the beginning so we can kill him before he even flies too far away this yeah, time. Yeah, just kill him super fast. All right, so are you ready for this? All right, ready. Do oh, it. I got was like warming up right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So this is the newspaper zombie boss. Yes. If we take him out quick enough, we can totally win this. Die! Right, the first version is easy. Okay, super easy. All right, then he spawns in an island, and then we get the second dude, which is a little bit harder. All right, get him. All right, the third one, we have to take him out like crazy quick. I know. All We're right. probably still gonna have to put the pants on. We probably will. No, if we put them on right at the right time, I think we can do this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get Die. ready to put them on as you finish them off. All right. Okay. We're almost dead. And come on. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. I got it on. Army right, too. All right, let's go. Okay. Fight him. Wait, he's still on the ground. <laughs> I know. I'm going to shoot these at him. I got him. Yes. He's dead. We Good killed him. Good job. All right, let me take these pants off. All right, so he is dead, and I'm coming down. Hopefully, going to live. Um, Land in this water. On. Pretty soon. Did he drop anything? I don't think he did. If he did, I blew it off. <laughs> Wait, so our reward is an island. He dropped an island, Jack. Yes. Jet. Is there anything in that chest? All right, let me check it out. Nothing in the chest, but this is kind of like we got our own sky block, That's isn't really it? That's really cool. This is really interesting. Oh, there's like a crafting table. What does that sign say? Oh, it doesn't say anything. Oh, okay. It probably says cobblestone generator because there's like one right here. That is awesome. So our reward, I've actually never seen this in a mod before. Our reward was Skyblock. Yes, we get our very own island. That is so weird. I actually like it because I've never seen like a structure as a reward before. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> oh, but anyways, dudes, there is one more thing we need to show. So Jen is just watching my screen right now because it's not letting her in the dimension. But there is a completely weird area that is over here that has like battle towers and it just looks evil. Oh, I 
like it. I don't think it's done yet. <laughs> it seems to be a little bit broken, it's but... It's a work in progress. I do not have the Battle Tower mod installed, guys. It looks like they kind of copied it. Um, there is no boss at the top, but you can go up these. You can actually get rewards and... Look at this. This just looks creepy, doesn't it? Ooh. This is like, where, where is this coming from? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> but as you can tell, guys, some of the stuff in the mod is still a work in progress. Like, one of the rewards for one of the dimensions was kind of the key for the dimension before it, we noticed. Yes. But, yeah, guys, it's actually a really cool mod. I think I'm going to crash or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so weird the way they spawned in. Look, there's like an island over oh, here. Oh, yeah. I just need to check this out. I'm not going to crash. I think it was lag because it was spawning in like the weirdest <laughs> area in the world. But yeah, guys, really cool mod. Eventually, this is going to be amazing once they fix it up a bit. There is all kinds of dimensions you can travel through time to the future, to the past. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely crush that like button and subscribe. Do it with your time machine. Yes, do it. Because everyone has one of those. Oh, yeah. I really wish that we all had one. <laughs> just pretend you have one and just punch it in the face. That'd be awesome, dudes. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Yeah.